Welcome to Truck World TV at the Tokyo Motor Show and this is the Super Great Fuso, the Fuso Super Great. Uh, as we look along here it's a typical 4x2 combination with uh, suspension and obviously Fuso are owned by Daimler. So if we have a look inside you'll see the fact that it's got, well you won't see inside but it's got a day, it's got the uh, 11 litre engine and also it's got a typical, as we look inside there, the Mercedes-Benz automated gearbox as well. So I'll have a look inside it. If you're not seen inside a Japanese truck, this is very similar to everything else, i.e. they have a window, always have a window at the lower part of the uh, the cab door and also a, usually a window at the back. I don't know why, it's just comfort, I think, more than anything else in tradition. Nice inside there. Again, not a roof hatch and uh, plenty of storage although they're missing out the storage above the cab as well it's a uh, fully wrapped round and again this is typical of all japanese vehicles it's the fact that it sits high on the chassis and yet it's got an engine hump as well so there's no cross cab access whatsoever so it's a fully wrapped round dash uh, in that way and uh, steering controls it's very unusual it's, it's a bit weird to see a mitsubishi uh, a logo on a heavy truck and uh, it takes a bit of getting used to but as you can see some of the switch gear is actually shared by the whole Daimler family nice comfortable seats on there uh, a book which is a little bit bunk is a little bit narrow for uh, most Europeans I'd say uh, but suits the uh, the Japanese market and that's a quick look around it uh, one thing I would say it's a little bit dark in there we've got some bright lights but I'd say that was quite dark as a cab but anyway thanks very much for watching and uh, see the review of the Vision 1, which is eFuso's thing, if you want to watch at the uh, YouTube website, you're more than welcome. Thanks very much for watching. Bye-bye.